anybody with um, common sense can look at our world right now and see that it is out of balance. We are out of harmony with nature and we are out of harmony with each other. And looking at the news or reading the media can leave us sometimes with feelings of helplessness or hopelessness. How can we possibly have some influence to change the world? It just seems so big and we seem so small. Luckily for us, Yoga teaches us how to take back our power over our own happiness and our own peace. Yoga teaches us how to conserve our energy so that we have enough energy to make a difference in the world. And when we're peaceful, yoga teaches us how to act and how to make a difference. So. What do we need to look at? It's a good idea to look at how we give our power away. How do we give our power away in the world? The first thing to be aware of is blaming others. Blaming others for the mess we're in. Blaming others for our lack of peace and our lack of happiness. If you were listening to the readings during the retreat, on one of the first days, perhaps the first day of the retreat, at lunch, Swami Satchidananda spent a lot of time talking about not blaming others for your lack of peace, your lack of happiness. Um, whenever we blame someone, we say, your behavior is bad, you need to change that behavior, right? Your behavior is causing me distress. Whenever we say to someone else, your behavior is bad, you need to change, underneath that we're saying, and unless you change, I can't be happy. You need to change or I can't be happy. What is that? That's definitely giving your power away over your own happiness, is it not? Swami Satchidananda says, whenever you blame somebody else, one finger points at him or her. You're bad. Your behavior is bad. Three fingers point at me. And unless you change, I can't be happy. That's my problem. <laughs> that's the three fingers pointing at me. And this guy, the thumb, is the, the neutral witness. Yeah, that seems to be right. The problem's yours, <laughs> not the other guy's. This is not to say that other people don't have bad behavior. Let's just accept that sometimes people behave, people's behavior is genuinely reprehensible. But if someone is mean and abusive, is that the person you want to give your power to over your happiness? Definitely not. Definitely not. The more difficult the person, the more damaged they are, the more you want to take your power back over your happiness own happiness. Look at the situation we're in, in our beloved nation's capital. If you watch the news at night, you see they bring up some terrible problem. And then some person in Congress from one of the parties, whichever one stands up and said, that's the fault of the other party. They have terrible policies. They understand this badly. And unless they change, it's going to be a mess. Then they interview someone from the opposite party. They say the same thing. Opposite, <laughs> opposite examples. Is that not so? I mean, you hear it constantly, blaming the other party for the mess we're in. Do they get things done? Are they solving problems together? You tell me. As Dr. Phil would say, and how's that working for you? <laughs> yeah, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> it's not working. And so do we want to be giving our power over our happiness away to those beloved, sweet, good intention people in Washington, D.C.? I don't think so. It doesn't make any sense, right? So rule number one, look at yourself when you're distressed. Who are you blaming? What are you blaming? 
Are you making anyone else in any way responsible for your happiness? Just observe. That's step one. It, don't even take my word or Swami Satchidananda's word for it. Look for yourself. Are you making someone else responsible for your happiness when you're unhappy? If you really look, you will find, yeah, I am. In some way, I'm giving someone or some situation the power over my happiness. Take it back by not blaming, by saying, what does yoga teach us? Happiness is within as my own true nature as my own true nature. If I choose to affirm my true nature, nothing and nobody can take that away from me because it's not what I do, it's who I am. It's the most fundamental part of who I am. And we get back in touch with that peaceful center by not giving our power away and blaming someone else.